Welcome back to Character Select. Tyler has to make a choice because Glitch points to a compad. Commander, I got an offer from another company, the Great Death Legion. Their CEO, or their CEO, Grayson Carlisle, is paying top dollar for Mercs. He's even offering a kickback to any company he poaches from, 100,000 sea bills. That's unusual, you say, examining the paused image of Carlisle on the compad. Go on. Carlisle's something else. I played his message over and over. The way he talks, I know he could really shake up the galaxy, and I want to be a part of that. This crew is my family, and leaving isn't so easy. What do you think? I don't want Glitch, glitch to leave. Here's the thing. It's kind of not up to you. Yeah. Because regardless of which choice you take, there's a chance that she's going to leave no matter what. I hate <sighs> this thing. I hate this one. I hate this the, one so much. The kickback is worthless. Yeah, 100,000 sea bills, nobody gives a shit. I feel like if you give her your blessing, then it's more likely that she leaves. Like, I could probably look this up if you wanted to, but... You can look it up if you want, but I'm thinking. Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do. I hate this random chance. But that's the way the world goes. Random chance and all that jazz. Also, the Great Death Legion, uh, canonically, is the ones that find the Helm Memory Core in, I want to say, 3037. Mm. And that reintroduces the Lost Tech. I think... I'm going to go with caution glitch against making a quick decision. Okay. I don't know if the galaxy needs any more shaking up. It's already a mess glitch. Think long and hard before you sign on with Carlisle. Talk is cheap. Usually gets mech warriors killed. You don't trust him? It's not that. I don't know much about Carlisle, but I know we've got your back on the Argo. So it's your decision glitch. Just take your time do some research. You're right. I shouldn't make a decision too quickly. Later that night, she knocks on your door. Just wanted to say that I'll be sticking around. I gave it a serious thought, and I can't imagine a better crew than this one. Oh, thank God. You get to keep her. Oh, thank God. I hate that one. It's uh, like, if I, would, if I were to have her leave, I would have her keep the money. Because the money's worthless. Yeah. And if you do that, this, I believe morale this, goes up. Yeah. So, that, there's that, but... But, no, we can't... We could not lose her, because we need that freaking eight... I mean, she's like one of our best... She is like our best pilot right now. The good news is, regardless of any other circumstances, a random event can only happen once. Yeah. So that one will never come up again. Thank God. <laughs> I'm. Pr it's the only one that I've seen that actually can cause you to uh, lose a mech. Check the store real quick. Uh, here at Mandalus? Okay. Yeah, just... I mean, while we're passing through, just take a look. Yeah, nothing really useful. Scroll all the way down. Once you get nice. to uh, yeah, once I'm you get just, to jump jets I'm, and heat sinks, it's just all fine. basic all stuff. Right. Keep on trucking, then. Space trucking. Come on, space trucking. You know that's a song, right? No, I didn't actually. It is. Well, there you go. Uh, God, so many jumps. Space trucking by Deep Purple. Huh. Thum. Also, fun facts about, uh, more fun facts about Battletech. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Shit. All right. Check the store now. I don't remember what I was going to say. Blackjack, Blackjack large parts, laser, arm mod, mod and a for... gyro. Gyro gives the less, less stability damage, which is great for light mags. Ooh. And the rangefinder just increases your view distance for basically is, no tonnage, though. So that's not bad. Which is pretty good. Yeah. We still but. need that AC-20. But the good news is... That is a Ugh. really cool shot. Also, I yeah, forgot... That, hey, that would also be we horrific to longer. have to deal with, like, the, the G-turn on that. Yeah, hold on. I just forgot to... There we go. Now you can see the cursor, everybody. Sorry about that. Alright, so we're, we came here to check out the store, but also to do some jobs... Jerbs. Good old Jerbs. Jim Jams. Jim Jam Jimbaroo. 
Also, it took me forever to realize why this always takes the lo forever when you load up contracts. It's because it's actually not generating them until you actually open the command center in a planet. Oh, there's a one, one and a half star. Huh, turn the tables. That's pretty good pay, actually. I think we just do a couple of these shitty little missions until everyone's back up. Yeah, it'll get us some money. And I mean, and just because it's one and a half stars doesn't mean that we don't have a chance for a heavy mech. There could still be there. Yeah. All right. And so, we got a lot of our good mechs back up now. Yeah, we do. Well, I'm gonna, back in. I'm going to jump in, and I'm going to jump in the Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we want to swap out the Kintaro for Actually, the no. trebuchet? Uh, well, we want to get the trebuchet in there, that's for sure. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I want the Kintaro as well. So three and a half, three star, three ton, uh, yeah, three icons for one and a half icons. Uh, and I'm also going to swap in the dragon for the griffin. Hmm. I think that's good. Important to always remember that, um, heavy mechs are slower. Uh, with the exception of the urban mech. Uh, which is the slowest. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding. The urban That's, mech... Uh, urban mech is like one of those gonk droids from Star Wars. <laughs> so, um, an, a, an average assault mech, like the heaviest tonnage mechs, 85, or 80 to 100 tons, uh -huh. they will trundle along generally at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour. The urban mech flat out at sprinting speeds goes 32 kilometers an hour, which is about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> it's what fun. The only thing that matches the urban mech is a fucking 100 ton assault mech. <laughs> Why did they make urban mechs? Uh, because it's actually really good for urban fighting and it is cheap as dirt. I'd like, imagine cheap as dirt, but they're garbage. Well, so. What, uh, it's like you buy what you pay for. Like if you right. spend so little that you're getting like trash, then it's going well, to be trash. But they're not getting trash because the urban mech actually still uh, still Here mounts the AC-10, and the AC-10 an on a medium mech is scary. An AC-10 on a double lance of urban mechs can be terrifying. Oh, what's all this stuff? A javelin. Devlin. Yeah, we haven't seen one of those before. Uh, they were introduced in Urban Warfare. Miss. There's two variants. This is the N variant, and it has two SRM6s. It's not awful. It's not great. Hello, then, Locust. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You just keep trying your best, man. <laughs> <laughs> you keep doing you. Um, but yeah, like, a Locust has a cost of about, I want to say, two and a half million C-bills. Mm. Um... An urban mech cost 1.8. On the move. That's still a lot. Yeah, but the average medium mech costs between six and eight million, or uh, five and seven million credits. Ah. Sir, sea bills, I should say. So, it's not. Do you want to go after the locust or the javelin? The javelin has fewer um, evasions. Or the turret. Actually, yeah, I kind of want to kill the turret because that is a well, not actually that big a deal. But fuck him anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, so, mitigate any damage that you can where you can. <laughs> um, but yeah, the urban mech is basically designed to to be Rolling. the urban mech is basically a technical. It's a it's a truck with a fucking oh Jesus Christ! Wow. <laughs> Good going, Pelican. Nice. Um, wow. Yeah, the urban mech is basically a, a pickup truck with a fifty caliber. Uh, machine gun attached to the back of it. So it's like some dude in Alabama took some military surplus, Receiving you. strapped it to his truck, and just like started cruising down the road blasting Credence Clearwater Revival. Correct. Only the truck is actually slow, has a bit of a flat tire, and it's a really small truck. Yes, yeah, like a <laughs> truck in Alabama. <laughs> what are you? Uh, you are a apologies to anyone who actually lives in Alabama. Also, apologies to anybody who actually lives in Alabama. <laughs> I'm so just, sorry you have to live no, in it's, Alabama. It's just so fucking hot. How do you live? 
Uh, I can't. I personally can't stand the heat. Oh myself. my god, that was the worst part about when we went to Gen Con was that first day when we went to go meet with Noxo at the the restaurant. It's like, oh, it's like a mile and a half away, and we got there and we were like sweating buckets. I'm like, everything about this is awful. Uh, I was wearing my suit jacket too. You were a crazy motherfucker. It's true. Yeah. I cannot argue with that. Roger. Pew! Yeah, well, that didn't work out the way I hoped it would. Pew! Look at that, that heat! That worked out the way you wanted. Look at the fucking heat! Did you see the heat generation? <laughs> Basically nothing. Excellent. Oh my god, I love that build already. System holding. I like how robotic she is. I am a robot. <laughs> In a robot. Oh my god, it's stop robot with the Deception. fucking missiles. They can't stop, won't stop, Dave. They can't stop till we're all dead enough. Come on, people. Don't stop Let's till you're dead enough. Happen. So yeah, the javelin is interesting because it's actually it's super light armored. It's it's slightly more heavily armored than a locust. Like oh. slightly. But mm -hmm. it has two SRM6s, and the other variant has two medium lasers, and it's mobile as fuck. That's not, so it's, 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 that's not awful. It's basically a slightly slower, more heavily armed spider. Yeah. It's really cool. Copy that. And it's not a spider. Right. Because fuck the spider. I really wish you had freaking multi-shot, but okay. Um, we can finish off the striker, take out a turret. Yeah, fuck this striker. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he was dead before the missiles hit, and then he was just like, okay, okay, fine! Reporting. It's like that scene in Raiders of the Lost... No, uh, Last Commander? Crusade, where the tank goes over the cliff, and the dude, like, ragdolls on top of the... You know what I mean? Vaguely? You know, where Indiana Jones is fighting the Nazi on top of the tank, and they're heading towards the cliff. Oh, yeah. And he, like, jumps off. And then it's like the really fake model of the tank with the fake like, dude inside, like rolling down a cliff. <laughs> Reporting critical hit. Wow, that thing got fucked up. All right, Striker, what are you doing? They've Sensor locking. Backwards. Whole lot of nothing. Cool. Standing by. Could take out a turret. Finish off that Striker. I can't actually. It says I don't have a shot on it. That's weird. You have a you have a shot on the Striker. No, it says I don't. Because it's not telling me percentages. Well, it's because you can't see it right now. When you uh, move there, you can see it. With the red line, it shows that you do have a shot, though. True, you are correct. I didn't realize I couldn't see it. Confirmed. But, uh, no. You you need to die. Confirmed. Fire. Whee! And he's dead. Target eliminated. Not only is he I'm dead, he's going to drown to death because he fell forward and his <laughs> cockpit is like. You know, pressed up against the bottom. Yep. Yeah, javelins can be... Like, a full lance of javelins can put out a surprising nice. amount of damage. So mm -hmm. you underestimate them at your peril. Target destroyed. I mean, not only that, but like the... Like, 12 short-range missiles. That Dun. does some decent stability damage, too. So you get yep. like a bunch of those swarming around. Yeah, uh, two javelin ends with the SRM-6s. Oh! Fuck off. Our great well, they four. They hit a lot, don't yeah, they? They do. Um, but yeah, two javelin uh, ends with SRM sixes are great for uh, killing, or great for trying to grab medium max. Yeah. Just by knocking things down constantly. Well, you can only blow up the buildings. Firing. Mine as well. It is the job. Enemy structure is weakening. Oh, you're still hitting it? Sorry, give me a second here. I'm just getting... My data isn't updating quickly. You just have to forgive me for being slow. Fuck are you, Dorfin! <sighs> Alright, so now those turrets can't actually hit us. Yeah. So we're good. Aye, aye. Do, 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 do. And just blow it up and mission over. Confirmed. Well, no, we still want to kill the turrets. Oh, Cause... right, because we get the bonus cash. Yep. 
payday. Like the salvage ain't gonna be anything worth anything worth writing home about, bud. Well, I mean, yeah. Get some spider Hi. parts and javelin parts. Yep. Waiting for orders. There's also I don't know if they introduced it in the urban warfare update or another one, but there mm. is. Uh, there is, in fact, a mobile command center. We saw it in, uh, in that first mission that we had to withdraw in the last recording yeah. session. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's uh, the mobile command center. No, Sweet not the mobile. Jesus, that's a lot of missiles. Enemy, not the mobile command center. There's one that's like that, but it has basically no weapon. Or it has uh, more weapons. Um, it uh, always has plus plus weapons on it. Mm. Always. It's very interesting. So you want to blow those up and take their shit. Yeah, but eventually you're like, I don't need another goddamn plus plus medium laser. You always or, need plus plus medium lasers, Dave. I mean, you're you're not wrong. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now we can blow up the rest of this facility. Removed. Excellent. Commander. And put Fafnir in All the right. med bag, cause goddamn it. But hopefully not for too long. Ten four. Oh my like god. Our med like our that just destroyed the building high. in one cell. <laughs> oh my god, I love that robot. Uh, it's really nice. Had just a little more tonnage, we could make it an awesome. Or a light awesome. I think that that's probably the best outcome we could have expected from that mission. Uh, we got a pretty decent payout. No, I mean getting the Thunderbolt. Yeah, actually. That uh, was like the best outcome we could have gotten. Do you want to grab a javelin part, or do you want to start... Do you want to finish building a locust and get the money from it? I don't think we have to worry too much about the money, but the javelin is a light mech and we're not going to run it. Yeah, so we'll grab the So let's locusts. finish off the locust and sell it. Maybe we got, got a free full... Parts anyway. God damn it. <laughs> right in the head. Of all the mechs that you could punch in the head. That was amazing. Jesus. Um, if a mech has a damage rating or melee damage rating of 60 or above, they can always headshot a mech because heads have 45 armor and 12 uh, structure. Oh. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Now we've got There's the our priority mission. We still have people uh, down, though. Yeah, as soon as me and Glitch are back up, we're going to head to that. Uh, there we go. Is back online. Uh, we got people that need uh, skill points. Yep. Mech warriors. Factor's out for 14 days. Yeah, I'm out for another two months. What do you want to do with Behemoth? Do I want to keep, keep going towards guts. Good so, cool invent. Commander. Decker. Yep. Decker, keep on going towards the next Ace pilot. pilot. Ace pilot. Receiving you. Fafnir. Fafnir. That's your choice. Yeah, I want you to go towards that, and I also want you to get that. Yeah, that Trying works. Confirm, Commander. All right. What can Glitch. I do for you? She's fine for now. Yes, Commander. Hard rock, I really want you to work towards breaching shot. No, mm -hmm. I want you to work towards cooling vent. Because if I can get a multi if we can get a multi shot PPC, you want the breaching shot. I want the ability to keep firing it every turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Medusa, nobody cares. Pelican. But he could get uh, he could actually get two level five skills though. It's true. So when he's when we need him, he's ready to go. I'm here. I will take tactics. Minus 90 min meter minimum range, a.k.a. I have no minimum range. PPCs can fire at anything now. So you are a scout now. Yep. Specialization scout, because I took piloting and then uh, mm -hmm. Master Tactician. Master Tactician is really, really cool. All, the, uh, all of the second level abilities are pretty cool. Orders. It's true. Um, do we have... for order. Commander? Commander? Yeah, so breaching shot. Uh, Ace Pilot, Coolant Vent, and Master Tactician. Mm -hmm. Alright, but we can run another mission. We're still here. We got time. We got money. It's going to take 35 days to get to Archer when we're ready to go, so by that point, everybody will oh, be back up. Man, I want to do that mission, though. Freaking Star League Defense Force robbing the grave, getting Ooh, some, you some don't, sweet choice mechs. You don't even know. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Dave. Uh, so this is a two skull ma uh, mission. Do you want to maximize just a, salvage? Just imagine, like a, a Star League Defense Force version of the Urban Mech. <laughs> <laughs> Be amazing. 
<laughs> there is a clan mech called the Urban Mech 2C. Um, uh, cl- let's send let's send Decker on this one. Okay. Um, but not in the trebuchet. Put him in the coffin mech. Are you trying to say something, Dave? No, the coffin mech actually has more armor than I, anything I, else at this I'm, point. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> it's just that it, it, it's, it got it, the name from like <laughs> basically killing me. Yep. Uh, it 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 had some problems, but by stripping <laughs> off those AC twos, I think we might need to rebuild it to uh, add some more AC five ammo though. Mm-hmm. Just so we can have more salvos. Yeah, those AC twos are not worth it. They do too little damage for... They do as much damage as a medium laser at the range of a large laser, but they have... L- super s- limited ammunition. Well, not really. It's just... They don't, they have 25 per ton, which actually isn't Is it terrible. 25? Yep. Oh, well, then whatever. But it's just... they t- uh, The AC-2, for what it is, uh, takes up five times as much tonnage as a medium laser. Ah, yeah, there you go. So, it's a good idea, but it's a bad idea. But it's a good idea. It's a good, bad idea. Yeah. Um, But yeah, there's a clan mech called the Urban Mech 2C, I believe. Uh, (laughs) And also, the Urban Mech was in production for long enough that people were stupid enough to keep building variants of it. (laughs) Um, I love that six six evasions that you can get. Yeah. Mm. Um, There's a... uh, There's a... One of the channels that I watch on YouTube, Black Pants Legion, has a text talks battle tech, and yeah. he talks about the uh, the urban mech because his polls that he polled his viewers and they said we want you to talk about the urban mech. And he's like, well, I hate you, um, <laughs> but he's like, being in production for a very, very long time, it has some <laughs> variants. Notable variants include one that has upgrades it with loss tech, so now it has a uh, an LBX auto cannon ten. <laughs> an LB- LBX AC-10 and a small laser that pulses. <laughs> a small pulse laser? Yep. <laughs> uh, and then he's got one It's like, uh, the uh, the UMR-70 uh, Standing by. has a rotary autocannon 5 because nobody, or because somebody thought it was a good idea. And nobody in the Federated Sons tried to stop them. <laughs> uh, There's apparently a variant called the the uh, the R uh, UMR A4. Fifty is a medium. Yep. So you got two mediums and two lights. Uh, there's one that's called the UMR A4 mm-hmm. that. Uh, takes all of the weapons off. Ooh, yes, this is my favorite song. This is a good one. Uh, For the Reach, I believe it's called. I think you're correct. There's a heavy mech out there. Or a vehicle. Is there? There's also reinforcements, so we've got to be careful. Yes, Commander. Um, cool. Just PPC the shit out of everyone. <laughs> Affirmative. Do it! Thunderbolt their faces Let's off. Vindicator and uh, Commando. Up, Commando. There's another one. Thirty. Um. Yeah. The so, UMR A4. Another Commando. Uh, God damn it. Has an artillery system instead of anything else. And it's like, hold on. Wait. Another fucking Commando. Jesus. No, that's the same Commando. Never mind. Excuse me. Rude. Shoot me right in the leg like a dick bag. Waiting for orders. Rolling. Well, you have half of your armor, so fuck you. Oh, are go. Scored a critical hit. I'll take that. That looks good to me. That's a Griffin. It fired an AC or an LRM-10, and there's not too many things that will bother firing an LRM-10. Position confirmed. Tango is trash. 
Sorry, I'm back. What I miss? My dragon ate a commando. That's a feat. Ooh. Hello. Okay. I've been sensor locked. Uh, fuck it up. <laughs> We're actually in a relatively good position because uh, all of these guys are half armored. So sweet. Receiving you. Dude, dude. And dude. they have no evasions. Yep. I'm gonna kill this commando because that large laser is still actually kind of scary. Go. Well, oh. it's not anymore. Nope. Sure ain't. Oh, right in the head. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I hit something good. I think you hit something good too, <laughs> you sir. <think? laughs> you blew off the arm. You took out almost of its head. Gave him a lobotomy. What is that? That sounded like two LRM10s. Mm. But I don't know anything that mounts to our LRM10s. I thought it was a griffin. God, the music in this game is just mm. fucking awesome. If there is one thing you can count on Hairbrain Schemes for, it is really, really good music. They did the music in uh, in the Shadowrun series, obviously, mm. and they did a really good job on that too. It is stupid good. that this causes this generates so little heat. I love it though. Oh, oh, you're so close to fucked. Hey, it's a one F or it's a ten F. This is That's the four a lot of medium lasers. Yeah, it's the four That's laser. Actually, pretty decent mech. Yep. It also is really good at sinking heat. Sorry. Open another sodi pop. That's fine. It is still pretty hot outside, as it is the middle of August. Yep. Can you believe that we started recording this series in fucking January? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finish off the no. The commando's worthless now that it just has one medium laser. That thing oh, needs to go. Boom! Oh Fuck well, all of your lasers. Mind. It is no longer a threat. <laughs> uh, so, here's the very important thing about the hunchback: taking out its lasers reduces its long-range threat. It does stupid amounts of damage. Oh, I'm melee. sure, but I'm just saying that is like, you know, two hundred, two hundred right. damage a turn. Right. It doesn't do anymore. Oh God, yeah. Commander. Also, there's people yeah. in the comments that have been upset that we don't focus fire on targets, which I understand, but we're trying to neutralize targets by in terms of threat. Yeah. So, this commando was a threat, but then we blew off its large laser, and now it's mostly not a threat anymore. Right. Mostly. I mean, I can appreciate focusing focus firing at threat. Man. Like, if you get, like, Whee! like some assault mech just drops <sighs> in... Yeah. It's like absolutely everyone fire on Whee! that mech. Double kill, nice. Enemy nice eliminated. job. There's actually an achievement for killing three mechs in one multi shot, and I've never done it. Well, you need uh, three PPCs in a row. With or you three headshots. You need to get really lucky with. Ow! I'm hit! Fucker. You have the worst luck of I that. really do, and it's funny because it's only when I'm playing this with you, because I've Got been it. playing career forever, and uh, I don't get it, man. It's really wow, annoying. Wow. You're more lightly armored, so I think I can kill you. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that. I mean, he only had 320 Ooh. total armor, and he only had half of that. What is left? Uh, One mech and two more things. Yeah. And uh, given the sheer number of missiles that are being lobbed, I think I'm starting Light to think damage. those are vehicles. Holding firm. Yeah. Commander. Hello. Have Hello. you have you heard about our Lord and Savior PPC? Fire. Oh, right through the legs. God damn it. Oh. The PPC giveth and the PPC taketh away. Except that PPC, because the idiot pilot Mad Mac doesn't know how to shoot PPCs. So that was a PPC and an LRM-10, right? That is a Griffin. Yeah. Standing by. Well, let's finish off the Vinic here. I kind of wish it was the AA model, just because I want one, but... 
It's like we're building like a museum on our <laughs> on the Argo. That's what you're like, supposed. Here's my here's my Vindicator one. What a this yeah. one and here's here's my one R. Here's my AA. Well, here's so all of my urban max. Jesus, asshole. Here's the urban mech wing. <laughs> um, in career mode, you're actually you get more points for doing that. At the what, end, collecting all of them. Uh, for uh, for each for every mech, unique for, robot you have. For each you, unique mech that you have, and also every weight class that you complete, ah. you get points. So that's why I keep saying. That's why I'm like, I really want to grab some of these mechs. Because I'm still in that career mode of thought where it's like, that's what you're supposed to do. Right, but it is actually meaningless. Yeah. It doesn't affect anything in the campaign. Okay. That is a mech. Okay, so that is a mech with two LRM-10s or one no, LRM-20. No, sir, that is a catapult C1. We need that, then. Yes, we do. I think it yeah. is. That is. 65 tons? It's a heavy. Commander. Yep. Uh, let's finish this bitch off and then go after that thing. Roger yeah, I think you think you're right. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, ha! Got it. Or you can hit not the thing that I wanted you to hit. You know that works too. Very close though. Hard Rock can finish them all. Orders. With a PPC Good right order. to the chest. <laughs> or, you know. Not. Punch, punch, cannon. Guard a critical hit. <laughs> punch, punch, bullet. I cast fist. <laughs> yeah, fucking Griffin. Griffins Speaking are annoying of, because they're so dull. Yeah. But they're so damaging. I'm Speaking here. of. Yep. Casting fist. I am looking forward to not only Baldur's Gate three coming out. But, oh, uh, when does that come out, by the way? I don't know. I haven't seen a release date. Okay, cool. But the um, yes, Celasta. The oh yeah, the you got to play thing. that at. Uh, I did. I went Gen back Con. the next day and played that. Affirmative. Oh the, shit. Uh, the like pre-alpha build for that. Uh, problem. What? Overheat. Well, that's the first time I've ever actually overheated with. Oh, it's a C4. We want that. Oh, it's two LRF twenties. Yep. Okay. Which means it's only been salvo firing one at a time. Good to go. But yeah, so I um yeah, you saw you saw a bit of that. Yeah, I did. I sat it down and really played cool. that. It was really cool. The demo for it is coming out on, on Steam. It. Like the demo from GenCon is Critical coming out commander. on Steam. Uh, it looks so it I looks I will, really good. Uh, I mean, it is pre-alpha. It's a so it's a vertical there's slice. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a vertical slice. There's a lot of jank in it, but I thought it was really solid. Like I. Oh no. Like the like the controls are all very intuitive, and you know the combat. Yeah. Is just the way I want it. I might consider playing it on the channel whenever the the demo comes out. Yeah, do that. I'd be down. Uh, they've, they're about, they're, we're both signed up for the newsletter and just waiting for it to enter, uh, yeah. Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm definitely backing that. Like, <laughs> like I've said before, I, I forget if I mentioned this on the channel, but like, we were having a discussion about games that we wanted, and I personally don't Man's like... Dead. No, no it's not. I personally don't like games like Baldur's Gate. I don't like real time with pause. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting there, it's like, I would love a modern D&D game with 5th edition rules with turn-based tactical action like XCOM. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, literally that day, <laughs> they released like some Damn press it. statement. It's like, hey, here it is. That duck kill. We get one part of that? Yeah, we only get one. And Dave, we only have one. Dave, why didn't you try harder? Look, what do you want me to do, Fire. boss? Focus on his I told feet. them. I told them to, and they were like, "No, we got to shoot it in the chest." Well, you shot right like a million missiles at it. I shot six. Yeah, a million. Confirmed. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so the last looks really good. Target. Yeah, looking, looking forward to it. 
Ooh. Okay, you are worthless now. That hit something. It's go time! It is go time. I would go like time. it if the enemy could withdraw. Uh, I understand why they don't, because then you lose salvage rights, but yeah. It would be more realistic if they did. But probably there's like a mod for that. There's a mod or something here. Damn. Still not popping, huh? Order acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Okay. The good old buddy Kintaro is gonna need some time on the repair bay. Ugh. Just a day because it overheated. Yep. But it's okay because somebody needs time in a med bay, so what the fuck ever, right? Because headshots keep mm -hmm. happening. God damn it. I blame you. As well, you should. You are a head magnet. <laughs> it's a weird statement. Don't ever say that again. Actually, none of them need to be in the, the mech bay. Catapult. Ugh. Well, we can finish off a griffin. Uh, we'll do that just to sell it. Like, I'd love or to get a 4P. The by, part? Yeah. by the time we actually get the full 4P, we'll be on to heavy max. Scroll down. Nothing. Million heat sinks and nothing else worth anything. So. Uh, because well, the we got oh. the 4P piece anyway, so there nice. you go. Um, the hunchback mounts uh, eight medium lasers and like ten heat sinks to compensate. It's yeah. ridiculous. <sighs> Man, I want that catapult though. I do. Giving that catapult to Behemoth would be would amazing. Be pretty fucking ridiculous. I Take, want it. Strip off the two small lasers and just have it be a dedicated support platform. Some two small lasers and more heat sinks. Just, just continue or more like ammo. Just Next continuously one, fire. <laughs> Like, every turn, 40 fucking missiles come out. Boop. Manage. Right. Boop, boop. Alright, you need to go into storage, and yep. you need to go into storage. Yep. And Is there anything else we want to put away? Yeah, I don't really like the Griffin, but, I mean, it's it's helped us out, so I think we should keep it for now. I think we're good for now. Yeah, alright. Alright. Sell. Boop. Uh, uh, we can get rid of the Locust 1V. Get rid of that, because we already have one. Get rid of just one. Keep one in reserve. Yeah, okay. We got we got a lot of money now. It's pretty yeah, sweet. We're, we're pretty, pretty set for now. Alright. Uh, next time on Character Select, I guess we'll keep blowing up mechs for a little bit, and then we'll probably <laughs> go to go Grave Robin to go blow up more max. Yep. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler. Dave. I think this might be our best option right here. Oh, no, cease and desist looks pretty good. Yeah, but it's a destroyed base, so it's going to have mostly turrets. Ah, true. This will definitely give us max. Not a lot All of right. salvage, though. <laughs> All right. But if we can get one really choice piece... God, if they if they, if they drop down and like they're a like black knight, we've got two there. locusts and a black knight. Yeah, let's. Or like do that. A, 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 the catapult is there. 